Question 21. So our goal is to work out the length BC, but we have to build up to that because to be able to work out BC, we're going to need to know this length BD. So to start off with, we're trying to work out this length BD, which I'm going to call X. Now looking at this non-right angle triangle ABD, we do know a pair in as much we know an angle and its opposite side. 80 and 7.4 so we can use the sine rule because we're trying to work out a side let's have the sides on top so um, so x over sine 45 equals 7.4 over sine 80 straight from the tables at the front of the paper the sine rule so um, rearranging this to get x on its own we have to undo this dividing by sine 45 so we multiply by sine 45 so x equals 7.4 sine 45 all over sine 80 popping that into a calculator we get 5.3133 and so on so we know the length of x so now looking at triangle dbc what do we know we know this one side dc 5.8 we know DB, because we've just worked it out, 5.3133. And we know this angle here, because angles on a straight line add up to 180, so this angle is 100. So we now can use the cosine. We don't cosine rule. We don't have a pair. We don't know a side and its opposite angle, but we can use the cosine rule. So calling this side A, this is the side we need, it's BC, calling it A, a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos a, where b and c are these two sides that we've just found, and a is the angle 100. So substituting in, we get a squared being all of this. So a squared is 72.573. Square rooting, a is uh, 8.519 dot dot dot. So to three significant figures, that's 8.52.